Well, in 1985, I was selected to run the presidential retreat at Camp David, which is military installation technically and served by the Navy and the Marine Corps. So I was the commanding officer there. It's kind of like being the mayor of a little city. Every service has to be provided, and everything from serving the guests to serving the group that works there, providing all the utilities and everything else that uh, this requires. And I know you mentioned that your wife helped run things too a little. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, it's interesting serving a president and their guests, but that's not exactly the kind of training you get in the, in the military. So I had to look to my better half to advise me on things like decorating and social functions and things like that. So she was uh, invaluable. What was it like to work with the Reagans? Oh, well, it was, it was a great experience. They made it very easy and enjoyable, you might say, because they had such a strong consideration for the staff, people that worked around them. And, so they were, they were wonderful, wonderful people. But it's probably the only place the president can literally get some privacy. You brought a whole album of fabulous pictures, but the ones we selected here are ones that are inscribed to you. And this was the White House. Yeah, that was in the Oval Office in 1988 when, uh, when I was leaving and uh, going on to another assignment. And it was nicely written and inscribed by Ronald Reagan. And the other one is inscribed by Nancy and Ronald Reagan. Right, and that was to my wife for the service that she provided while we were there and, and all the behind the scenes work that she did. So you have original sign and there's no question that they signed them. A lot of times when you see photos and pictures like this, they're either signed by secretaries or printed you were close enough, there's no question that they were signed. These would probably value-wise retail in the 500 to $1,000 range, not, not to say that sentimentally they aren't a lot more. But then this other one that we have in the center, tell me about that. I, I just found the story behind it well, fascinating. There's quite a bit of military support for the commander-in-chief, and one of one of those is uh, obviously the presidential position. The presidential position at the time was an army officer and he always made quite a joke about the fact that the Navy ran Camp David. When I was getting ready to leave Camp David, he had kind of pointed this out to President Reagan. So between the two of them, they came up with a letter that was written to me declaring Camp David as a ship for a day, uh, even though it was on the top of a mountain, because he just felt like if I was going to be a commanding officer, I had to be the commanding officer of a ship, and so they declared Camp David a ship for the day. So, so you had a, you commanded a ship for a day. <laughs> for a day. <laughs> One of the things that I would do with this is I would write down what the background and why it is, because quite honestly, if I looked at it without you giving the background story, I wouldn't know what the heck they were talking about. But it's a great letter, it's humorous. It's not something I'm guessing that you would want to sell, oh, no. but that's probably $1,500 to $2,000 on a retail basis, because where is anybody else gonna get something like that? Now, this is an appraisal that I think a lot of people will remember.